feels a bit like the early days of internet, right? Imagine Pulp, my first venture today, right? It's totally doesn't make sense, right? So you yeah. have social media and all the rest. So um, there's a huge pace of innovation happening currently. And lots of those startups will get obsolete because they will be, become features of bigger products. We always see this happening in in in, uh, in, in ChatGPT, right? So or OpenAI, they're launching lots of different initiatives that had, you know, that have been uh, startups before, right? And um, this will continue. And then the other thing is, I'm not talking about OpenAI. Not talking about big big players. Um, probably they will face different challenges in future as well. But talking about all those AI startups that actually are based on existing LLM. And I think um, most of them will disappear because um, there is almost no defensibility, right? So um, it's easy to replicate what, what they what they do, especially when they become successful. Uh, you see that, you know, this creates lots of red oceans. When you have a look at all those AI chatbots, right? I guess I've seen five new ones this week already, <laughs> whatever. So... There simply doesn't make any sense anymore to create another AI chatbot because um, you won't add any value to this market, right? right? And I think, you know, like the basic or the fundamental business principle of having a market with a need, serving this need, is truer than ever, right? This is, it's totally independent from the technology. Technology should serve customers or should serve your customer, should solve, or should help to solve a problem, but shouldn't be the sake of your startup, right? So um, I think, you know, if you create a new tech startup these days, you will most likely use AI mm -hmm. as a technology, but you yeah. should, still should solve a problem or serve a certain need of, of your customers and add value, basically.